You lost your parents in the bombings. I've seen the records. The records are not the picture, Keeper. No. Please. We're ten years old. Having dinner, the four of us. When the first shell hits two floors below, it makes a hole in the floor. It's big. Our parents go in. And the whole building starts coming apart. I grab her. He didn't see that coming. What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to Sea Row Productions, you guys. So with this whole Disney and Fox acquisition finalizing on March 20th of next week, this means Marvel Studios is now able to incorporate all the characters that they will be receiving from 20th Century Fox. With that being said, you guys, this takes me back to Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Now, I know Quicksilver died in Age of Ultron, but that doesn't mean we won't see him again in the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? With the whole time traveling aspect of Avengers Endgame, it could switch a lot of things around and we can see a lot of things change. A lot of, you know, people return in the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, Magneto. Magneto is the father of Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, the Maximoff twins, right? As stated in Age of Ultron, Age of Ultron, their parents died in that building explosion or collapsing um, in Sokovia because of Iron Man, right? That's why they hate Tony Stark. That's why they want to go after the Avengers in Age of Ultron. That was their entire motive. And teaming up with Ultron was the best way. So if their parents are dead, like they stated, what does that mean for Magneto? Will Marvel Studios have a Magneto, Magneto in the MCU that is not directly related to Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver? That is a question I have for Marvel Studios. Because, of course, they will cast a Magneto. The, the X-Men will definitely be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And there's a lot of characters that I want to see. And Magneto is definitely a character I would, love to, I would love to see, you know, in this universe. He's one of my all-time favorite, you know, villains up there with Doctor Doom. He's, he's, he's amazing. He's a, he's a great villain. Um, and his motives and, you know, the, the entire brotherhood and his perspective on things are very unique. And it's, it's awesome to see. Um, fun fact... Stan Lee actually created Professor X and Magneto based off of actual activists. Martin Luther King, he had sort of with Professor X and Malcolm X was with Magneto. And I found that to be so awesome. I was like, holy shit. I was like, there you go again, Stan Lee, like really, you know, putting in, you know, these public figures at the time, but telling different stories and you know the whole the whole mutants right everybody hates mutants i guess that was the time when he was creating the you know these comic books i just thought that was you know a fun fact that you guys should know um but magneto or they could definitely go the route let's say let's say that the maximoff twins were adopted they didn't know that those were their foster parents that they never told them never told them that they weren't their real parents. And Magneto, their actual dad, is out there somewhere. I can see Marvel doing that route. And in all honesty, that would make sense. That would help the continuity. It really would. Um, but I, 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 I wanna see how they're gonna handle this. How they're gonna handle the whole Magneto and you know them being you know the, the children of, you know, of Magneto. I, I wanna see if they're gonna go that route, I really do. And then casting my, uh, Magneto, <clears throat> we've had two great Magnetos in the X-Men universe. Ian McKellen was fantastic, a little bit older, but I enjoyed his Magneto. He was good. Ian McKellen is just an all-rounded all great actor. And then Michael Fassbender doing the younger version of Magneto, he did a phenomenal job as well, especially in X-Men First Class. He was really, really good in that movie. 
Um, but I doubt that they'll want to have Michael Fassbender's Magneto into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, I'm not saying that Michael Fassbender's bad. It's just I think they would want to go with an older Magneto. I have a feeling. I have a feeling they would want to go with an older one. Unless, the, you know, they aged him. And I want to see the full-blown Magneto. I want Magneto to have the long gray hair like in that Jim Lee's uh, X-Men run. I love that look of Magneto. He looks absolutely fabulous. I want to see something like that in the Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, that would be so cool to see. Um, man, I would even, I'd even cast Gary Oldman as Magneto. Gary Oldman's one of my all-time favorite actors, and I feel like he would crush it as an older version of Magneto. But he might be a little bit too old, and I feel like if they were going to cast a Magneto, and you know they were going to say that that is you know Scarlet Witch's dad, he would need to be a little bit older, but a little bit younger. So cast nobody, maybe you know mid forties going into the fifties. Um, but who knows, man? Who knows what Marvel Studios has planned? with the entire X-Men and how to incorporate these characters into the MCU. Because, like I said, some of these characters have direct tie-ins to these X-Men characters, like a Magneto and his kids. And <laughs> imagine they do, like, a House of M storyline. That would be so sick. That would be awesome. And I wouldn't mind seeing, like I said, I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, a Quicksilver return in the MCU. I wouldn't mind that. I do like Quicksilver in the X-Men universe, though. He, he's fantastic. All the Quicksilver scenes that we've seen... From uh, X-Men Days of Future Past, so sick. X-Men Apocalypse, he was so sick. And then um, X-Men Dark Phoenix, we saw a little glimpse of it in that that last trailer of him, you know, doing that quick that Quicksilver moment scene where everything slowed down, you know, and he's running. It, it, that's really a, such a, a dope moment for his character. I really do like that. Um, but I don't know, you guys. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. I want to see what Marvel Studios has planned, man, because... Not only do they have great heroes coming to the MCU after this deal is done, but they have great, great, great antagonists. And I think we're in the era right now, the era of having antagonist films as well, not just superhero films, not just the protagonists. We're in the era of, <clears throat> yes, you can pull off an antagonist movie. If it's a great story, you can do it. It's possible. I'd even be down to see a Magneto origin story. You know, they have the Disney Plus streaming service that, you know, they have a bunch of ideas that are, gonna, that, that are going to be landed on there. The whole Scarlet Witch and Vision. You know, who knows? They could introduce, you know, Magneto in that series and then eventually do your X-Men movie, you know, with the entire Brotherhood. But I want to see it done right. And I feel like Marvel's going to do it right. The entire Brotherhood, the Blob, you know, Mystique, um, oh my God, Toad. You know, I, I want it to, to be good, and I want it to be authentic as well. Um, but who knows, you guys? Who knows what Marvel Studios has planned? James McAvoy, I would love to see come back as Professor X. And if that's the only person they can get, I am completely fine with that. But I would want everybody else to be recasted. Everybody else. Except for James McAvoy. But it's going to be interesting and intriguing, you guys. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Magneto joining the MCU in the future. And how do you think they should incorporate his story and his character when talking about Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver? Should they go the father, daughter, and son route? Or should they just completely ignore that route, ignoring the comic books and just creating something different and unique? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time today. Of course, and Zero Productions. Peace.